I have <laughs> happy tears. Hong Kong native and Notre Dame Research Associate Maggie Sham told Reuters on Thursday she cried tears of joy upon hearing the news that Hong Kong residents living in the U.S. would be given a temporary safe haven. So this just so sort of opened the floodgates and, you know, just so sort of like crying happy tears and talking to my friends and just feeling like, you know, it's a good feeling. Her reaction came after U.S. President Joe Biden offered a safe haven for up to 18 months to Hong Kong residents in the U.S. The White House move comes in response to Beijing's crackdown on democracy in the Chinese territory. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. Obviously our hope and our objective and our work on the international uh, forum is to change the behavior uh, that is happening and the oppression that we're seeing of the people in Hong Kong. But certainly uh, this step is one that um, is meant to ensure we are uh, practicing what we preach in terms of human rights values and ensuring that uh, people who are in this country uh, don't face the ongoing repression that we're seeing in Hong Kong. It's the latest in a series of actions Biden has taken to address what his administration says is the erosion of the rule of law in the former British colony, which returned to Beijing's control in 1997. Last year, China implemented a new law in Hong Kong to criminalize what it considers subversion, secessionism, terrorism or collusion with foreign forces. The White House said in a statement that the U.S. will not stand idly by as the People's Republic of China breaks its promises to Hong Kong and to the international community. Some U.S. lawmakers want the administration to do more. Republican Senator Ben Sass called the safe haven move a solid step, but said the U.S. government needs to go further and offer full asylum to Hong Kong residents in the U.S.